This is Danny with Danikin Aquatics, and I am bringing you today number 64, which was supposed to be Ken's number, but yesterday he did a video and told you guys it was number 63, completely missed 64. So here I am bringing you number 64. These bright little blue neon rasboras are going to be number 64. And they zip all over the tank here. Quite little rambunctious critters. Actually, they're a little bit aggressive. I was a little surprised at how aggressive they are. And they like to pick on each other, but they like to kind of stay in a group and in the tank for the most part and they hang out together these little guys are their their scientific name is Sundadanio axelrodi and they're from the family Cyprinidae these guys like black water um, I usually have more of a tint to this water. Um, I like to put catapa leaves in here, but we just did a fresh water change, so I thought it'd be better for filming the rasboras for you. So I'm doing it before I stick in some more catapa leaves. They're so pretty. They've actually, if I could get close enough, they look a little bit glittery on their back. They're just a gorgeous little fish. The blue is spectacular and it reflects off the little glittery spangles on their backs. These guys are from Southeast Asia. They're omnivores. They like uh, flake and vegetable type foods. They'll eat flake but they will not eat anything that's bigger than their mouths. Um, most fish will chew on stuff like kind of like on a hamburger but these guys if it doesn't fit in their mouth all the way they won't eat it. So you need to have some finely ground up flakes or um, I also give them powder from ground up uh, bug bites pleco formula. They just love that and then the bug bites for a small fish. I feed that to these little guys too, uh, along with some Daphnia and other such little microscopic critters. Aren't they funny the way they just dart all over? So funny. They only get to be a smidge over an inch long when they're full grown. And they like minimal lighting. They like it to be kind of dark, although I did put a bright light on here so you guys could actually see them funny. They're best kept in groups of, you know, at least six. I plan on getting more of these guys. I like to buy six and then add more eventually. These guys are super hard to breed in captivity. Not a lot of people have been very successful with that. These guys are not recommended for beginners because they like the lower pH, they're picky eaters, they're, um, they like the dim lighting, they like the black water, so a lot more care and they have to have super, super clean water. Um, they need frequent water changes, so not really recommended for a beginner. The males have a black, like that one you can see, they have a black um, anal fin. So you can really see which ones are boy. He's a boy. He's a boy. These guys like to swim in the middle or the top of the tank. They're, they don't really hang out at the bottom. They have a life expectancy of uh, two to five years. There's some more of my... Oh, there. There's one. So they have the life expectancy of two to five years. Um, these guys do not like water fluctuations. They want constant, steady water parameters. That's another thing that you have to be really careful of with these little guys. 
And if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment. We love to hear from you guys. And as always, love your fish. Bye-bye for now.